Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. Just in writing this title, I've already violated the number one rule. Never ever call a manufactured home a mobile home. Mobile homes are the old flimsy boxes of half a century ago, built more with mobility and speed in mind rather than durability or quality. Mobile homes no longer exist. Today, we have manufactured homes. Sturdier, safer, and of higher quality, these are built to federal standards. And while they are shipped from a factory to the site, they are not really mobile in the true sense of the word anymore. But I'm just going to keep violating the naming taboo because, let's be honest, no one says manufactured home. They say mobile home. And lots of people are talking about mobile homes, as approximately 20 million Americans live in one, including Kid Rock. I'll show you his home along with a mobile home that may challenge your image of what a mobile home looks like later. But for now, if you, like millions of other Americans, are thinking of buying land in order to put a mobile home on it, here are some of the top things you should know. Number one, mobile homes are built to federal standards. They must comply with the 1976 HUD code. And so this means that they will be safe and have a standard quality, regardless of who you purchase from. Number two, mobile homes are cheaper and faster to build on average than stick-built homes. This is because their defining characteristic is that the entire home is built in a factory setting, which allows the company to mass produce homes and save on labor and materials. The homes are then delivered to the site where they are connected to a site-built foundation and hooked up to utilities. Because the home is almost entirely built in a factory, it takes on average about two to three months to build the home. Compare this to about six months for a site-built house. And according to the latest census data, the average sales price is only 98,000 for a mobile home. And if you're buying a single wide home, this price can drop down to as low as 57,700. This is significantly less than the average price for an existing site-built single family home, which is now well over 300,000, according to the National Association of Realtors. Number three, mobile homes represent approximately 5% of the U.S. housing stock, according to census data. This means that somewhere around 20 million households live in mobile homes. So while mobile homes are not the bulk of the U.S. housing stock, they do represent a significant niche. Number four, buying a mobile home is different from buying a site-built home. Instead of working with a real estate agent or hopping on Zillow to find a seller, you will go to a manufactured home company in order to purchase your new house. There are a wide range of companies, including big national manufacturers, down to small local distributors. But either way, you will be going to a local office where you will look through the different models available and work with a sales representative to determine which one works for you and your budget. Another major difference is that you will not go through the typical mortgage process in order to finance your home. Often the company that will be manufacturing, delivering, and installing your mobile home will also provide financing. Another major distinction between buying a mobile home and an existing site-built home is that you will need to think about where you are going to put your manufactured home. This will mean buying or leasing land, either a standard building lot or a space in a mobile home park. Once you have a spot for your mobile home and you've purchased it from the manufacturer, the home will then be built, delivered, and installed on the property. And all of this is usually done by the manufactured home company. Number five, as I just briefly mentioned, mobile homes are not financed with traditional mortgages. Mobile homes are usually classified as personal property and not real estate. Therefore, banks will not provide a traditional mortgage loan to you. But as I said earlier, Many mobile home manufacturers will have financing options in-house, but if these options don't work for you, you can also get a personal loan to purchase the property, or you could try to find a specialty lender that does specifically issue loans for the purchase of mobile homes. Number six, be careful when buying land for a mobile home. Before you go ahead and purchase that perfect lot for your new mobile home, check zoning laws. Unfortunately, many jurisdictions restrict where mobile homes can be placed within their boundaries. And this means that many parcels of vacant land that may otherwise look perfect for mobile homes will have restrictions that will not allow you to place your new unit on the property. 
But even if zoning does allow you to place a mobile home on the lot, be very careful when considering utilities. Check to make sure that public utilities are available and can be connected to the property. Be sure to factor in the cost of hooking your property up to public utilities, for this may be more expensive than you would think. And if public sewer isn't available and you need to install a septic system, make sure you have a perk test done before purchase. For more information on bringing utilities to a vacant parcel of land, we do have a video with everything you should know. Number seven, be sure you properly maintain your mobile home. When the home is installed, verify that it is level. Otherwise, you may have ongoing maintenance issues later. Again, when you are installing the home, don't skimp on skirting and skirting ventilation. The foundation or crawl space of a home is very important. And if it is not properly sealed and ventilated, you may have water and pest infiltration issues. Or you could create the conditions that will allow mold to grow. And this is ultimately a health hazard to you and your family. After installation, perhaps the most important thing you can do is properly maintain your roof. This means replacing it once it's reached its maximum lifespan, but also resealing and recoating the roof every year. Finally, have the home regularly inspected. Either learn how to do this properly yourself or have a professional come out every year. This way you can catch any potential issues before they become a major headache. So there you have it. Those are some of the top things you should keep in mind when you are considering becoming one of the millions of people who own a mobile home. And one of these millions of owners is Kid Rock. The Rockstar owns a double wide mobile home with a customized exterior camouflage wrap. Apparently, Kid Rock went with a manufactured home after he contacted a contractor about building a cabin on his dream property and decided he wanted the home built faster than the contractors could deliver. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, some mobile homes will truly challenge your conception of what a mobile home looks like. For example, the University of Colorado used 35,000 in donations to renovate one man's old single wide mobile home, making it the most well-designed mobile home in its mobile home park. Now, do you have any stories about mobile home living? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're gonna love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down properties at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come. Mm -hmm.